daughter of Zion. Voici la fille de Sion. For years and years she can't see. Ça fait des années que je vois qu'elle ne peut pas voir. And yes, she can walk. Je j'entends qu'elle ne peut pas marcher. But father, this is not your destiny. Mais père, ça ce n'est pas sa destinée. Yes. Lord, show yourself strong. Seigneur, montre-toi puissamment. I pray for your healing power. Je prie pour ta puissance de guérison. To touch your daughter right now. Pour toucher ta fille maintenant. As I pray for her, any point of sickness. Oh, je prie pour elle. Toute personne qui est malade. The power of God is touching you. La puissance de Dieu vous touche partout. The healing power of God is touching you. La puissance de guérison vous touche. As I pray for her. I declare healing in your eyes. Je déclare la guérison dans tes yeux. In the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. I command that spirit of diabetes. Je donne à cet cet esprit de diabète. Come out in Jesus. De sortir dans le nom de Jésus. I command your freedom. Je donne ta liberté. 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 In the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. I pray. Je prie. May strength enter your legs. Que la force entre dans tes dans tes jambes. May the impossible happen this morning. Que tout ce qui est possible se manifeste. May the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. Father, glorify your son. Père, glorifie-toi. Glorify your son. Glorifie ton fils. In Jesus' name. Dans le nom de Jésus. Amen. Somebody give the Lord a hand. Et quand Dieu Il y a des gens qui sont ici qui sont qui sont venus pour pour se pour tenir pour d'autres personnes. Qui s'appelle Sandrine ici? Le Seigneur veut te visiter. Venez rapidement, vous entendez? Le Seigneur va te inonder de faveur. Il est dit que le combat est terminé. Le combat est terminé. In the mighty name of Jesus, we celebrate in Jesus' name. Now touch that part of your skin. Now touch that part of your skin. Come, 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 come,
Marco do Prosso, Masuka la Je déclare que tes entrailles ne seront pas hors de l'eau. Ladies and gentlemen, God richly bless you for joining us in the morning prayer. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. Today is our 10th day of our global fasting and prayer. Today is our 10th day. The Lord bless you, even as you join us in the prayer. Today is going to be uh, one of the shortest, but as I said, we are not going to allow the time to um, limit us from praying. And so today is our 10th day. And we are going to command some things to happen to, for us this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Today, we are going to be dealing with every destructive covenant. Every covenant that is not of God, that is speaking in your life, is speaking in your career, is speaking in your business, is speaking in your destiny. We are going to pray and allow the Spirit of the Lord to bring deliverances and healings and manifestations in our lives in the name of Jesus. And so I want you, even if I, I lead you a short time, I want you to continue in your home, in your office, wherever you are, in the precious name of Jesus. Can we share with a prayer? Father, I pray that even as we pray this short time, let the presence of God touch your people uh, move mightily, begin to touch them. And I pray, O oh Lord, that the blood will speak for them. I pray that every covenant that is speaking in their lives, let that covenant be blotted. Let that covenant be wiped away in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, the scripture that we are standing on to pray to this morning, the scripture we are standing on to pray is in Colossians chapter 2, verse 14 to 15. Colossians chapter 2, verse 14 to 15. The Bible says that blotting out the handwriting and ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to the cross, and having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a public show openly triumphing over them in it. Galatians chapter 3, verse 13 to 14. Galatians 13, uh, Galatians 3, verse 13 to 14. The Bible said, For Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, for it is written, Curse is everyone that hangeth on the tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Christ Jesus, that we might receive the promise of the spirit of faith. Hallelujah. And so one thing about covenant you need to understand is that uh, there are many of you who are watching me this morning, either you inherited a covenant or... Um, you entered into a covenant either consciously or unconsciously. And so it is important. So long as these covenants are lingering, so long as these covenants are in your life, you will still be having very serious challenges and battles in your life. And so it is prudent and important that you deal with any inherited covenant or any covenant that you yourself may have brought upon yourself, either consciously or unconsciously, we need to pray against it. But we are standing on these scriptures to pray. As I said, I may leave you for a short time because I have to rush out, but I want you to continue the prayer in your room, in your office, wherever you are, you are in the name of Jesus. Now, I want you to say these prayers after me. Say, in the name of Jesus, I take back all the grounds of the enemy. All the grounds given to Satan 
by my ancestors in the name of Jesus. I take it back in the name of Jesus. And I curse you spirit that is enforcing evil covenant. You spirit that is enforcing evil covenant in my life. I can command you to release me in the name of Jesus. Any forces of darkness that is enforcing evil covenant in my life, in my career, in my business, I decree in the name of Jesus, let that power release me. Let that power begin to release me. Let that power begin to release me. Release me now in the name of Jesus. Release me in the name of Jesus. I decree right now that everything that has been transferred into my life, into my marriage, into my career, into my business, into the life of my children, in the name of Jesus, by the laying of hands of evil covenants, I command them to be loose right now. May they are whole over my life. May they are whole over my business. May they are whole over my destiny. Let it begin to lose in the name of Jesus. Let it begin to lose. Let it begin to lose. By the power of the Holy Spirit, let it begin to lose right now. Every serpentine poison that has been passed into my life, I command you right now to begin to get out. Begin to get out in the name of Jesus. I flash you out in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree now in the name of Jesus that let the fire of God begin to fall. Let the fire of God begin to fall on every spirit of death and hell fashioned against my life, fashioned against my career, fashioned against my children, fashioned against my destiny in the precious name of Jesus. Father, I decree this morning that I break the head and I cross the tail of every serpentine power, every serpentine spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that every spiritual bat or lizard or any spiritual animal assigned to me that has been introduced to me in the name of Jesus, I command you to receive the fire of God right now. Begin to receive the fire of God. Let the sword of the fire of God begin to cut off every parental attachment in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, any satanic, demonic parental attachment in my wife's side, in my father's side, in my mother's side, in the name of Jesus, let it be broken now in the name of Jesus. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. Begin to reveal to us every hidden covenant that the devil might have arranged for us in the spirit realm. In the name of Jesus, every tree that my father did not plant in my life, in my marriage, in, my, in the life of my children, let it be uprooted in the name of Jesus. Any tree that God has not planted, I command it to be uprooted. Let it be uprooted immediately. With immediate effect, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, begin to electrify every ground of this place right now, in my hometown, in my village. Begin to electrify it in the name of Jesus. And let every covenant that have been entered through my family tree, let that covenant be abolished in the name of Jesus. Let it be abolished. Let that covenant begin to shatter in the name of Jesus. Let it begin to shatter. I break that covenant. I break every sexual covenant. I break any covenant that does not glorify God. In the precious name of Jesus, let every hidden covenant begin to break in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every covenant, be it consciously, or unconsciously, let the covenant begin to break in the name of Jesus. And this morning, Father, I, in my going, I apply the blood of Jesus. I apply the blood. Let the blood of Jesus begin to cleanse, begin to wash every demonic covenant that is speaking in my life in the name of Jesus. The Bible tells me that there is power in the blood. There is power in the mighty blood of Jesus Christ. There is power in the blood of Jesus. And so I stand on that mandate as a child of God and I apply the blood of Jesus to break the consequences of any ancestral sin, parental sin from my mother's side, my father's side, my wife's side. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
Father, I decree this morning, let every evil that has come over my destiny, let every evil that has come over my life, let it begin to tend for my good. Let it tend for my good in the name of Jesus. All powers of demonic evil directed at me, I return it back to sender in the name of Jesus. I return it back to sender. Oh God, let the enemy make the enemy whatever the enemy has said about my life. Father, that is impossible. I prophesy in the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus, that let it become a possibility right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. I release myself from every umbrella of collective captivity. I release myself. I release my family. I release my children. I release myself from every inherited bondage, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' precious name. Lord, I decree this morning, that I send the axe to the the axe of fire to the foundation of my glory to the foundation of my life in the name of Jesus to begin to destroy every evil plantation in my life every evil plantation therein let the blood of Jesus begin to flush out every systems every inherited satanic deposit in my bloodline in my bloodline, in the mighty name of Jesus, I release myself from the grip of every satanic problem, every satanic load that has been transferred into my destiny, into my life, into my marriage, into my career, into my health. In the name of Jesus, let it be abolished right now. Let it be abolished. I release myself from the grip of any problem associated with my umbilical cord, associated with my place of birth. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, Lord, I break loose every collective covenant from my mother's side, from my father's side. I break that covenant, Lord. I release my system. I release my body in the name of Jesus Christ. I command every collective curse to be broken. I vomit every evil food that was fed me in my dreams through sex, through any means in the name of Jesus. Every foundational strong man attached to my life begin to be destroyed, begin to destroy yourselves right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the rod of the wicked begin to rise up against themselves in the name of Jesus. Let the rod of the wicked be rendered impotent for my sake. Let the rod be rendered impotent for my sake. I cancel the consequences of every demonic name that brings a covenant between me and any strange God, strange idol, any name I bear that the devil stands upon it to use against me. I cancel it in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, I cancel it. I decree right now that every evil dedication I cancel by the blood of Jesus. Every demonic marriage I cancel in the name of Jesus. Every evil design I cancel in the name of Jesus. Every inherited infirmity I cancel in the name of Jesus. Dream pollutions I cancel in the name of Jesus. Parental curses I cancel in the name of Jesus. Demonic sacrifice I cancel in the name of Jesus. Wrong exposure to any demonic thing I cancel in the name of Jesus. I declare any demonic laying of hands I cancel it in the name of Jesus. I decree tonight. That every destructive effect of polygamy, every un unscriptural manner of conception, fellowship with demonic consultants, fellowship with local idols, and evil diviners and chanters, I cancel by the blood of Jesus. I decree this morning, I refuse to drink from the well of sorrow, and I, I refuse to drink from the fountain of sorrow in Jesus' name. I take authority over every pronounced curse against my life. Let it return back to the pronouncer in the name of Jesus. I remove every curse that has been placed over my glory, over my life, in the name of Jesus. I remove it right now. As a result of disobedience, I remove it by the power of the Holy Spirit. Any dream that is attached to my any curse, I cancel it by the mighty power of God. I cancel it by the mighty power of God. Every curse issued, I decree that let that curse turn into a blessing. Let the curse of mental, physical sickness be abolished in the name of Jesus. Curse of failure and defeat be abolished. Curse of poverty be abolished. 
Cases of family breakup be abolished. Cases of oppression be abolished. In the name of Jesus. Cases of bad reputation be abolished. Cases of personal destruction and suicidal attempts or suicidal thoughts be abolished. Curses of chronic sickness be abolished. Curses of witchcraft be abolished. Curses of corruption be abolished. Curses of family strife be abolished. Curses of evil dedication be abolished. Curses of sickness and infirmity be abolished. I release myself from every evil altar. Any altar that is speaking against me in the name of Jesus, whether for my mother's side, my father's side, let that altar be abolished. Let that altar be abolished. Any satanic poison that is in my body, I command it out. I command it out in the name of Jesus. I command it out. Every evil authority over my life, let it begin to break in the name of Jesus. Every evil authority, evil authority for my family shrine, evil authority from witchcraft and familiar spirit, evil authority from remote control powers, evil authority from a strong man in my mother's side, my father's side, my wife's side. Let their thoughts, may, may, may their plans, may their projections, I cancel in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you for victory. In Jesus' name, I thank you, Lord. God bless you, child of God, for joining us in the prayer time. The Lord bless you even as you join us. The Lord bless you. I want to see you in the evening as we pray again. The Lord bless you. My prayer for you is that may you hear good news this week in the precious name of Jesus. May the hand and the favor of the Lord go before you. I declare that it is well with you. In Jesus' name I have prayed. Amen. God bless you. I love you. Until I come your way, peace. Shalom.